Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. <laughs> this is Freya. I'm Jason. We're bringing you today's video. Say hi Freya, or say bye Freya. Bringing you today's video, that's my fuzzy co-star. As always guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We've got a bunch of videos coming out. We, we love to talk about books, small little family channel, me, the fuzzy one, the wife. We're going to keep doing this no matter what, but any, any, uh, any support you guys might want to give us would be greatly appreciated. Um, so for today, I want to talk about a new book, a new book that I, I came across, uh, Deep Winter by Kinsley Kahn. Very, very interesting book. It's, it's primarily lit RPG, it does have some harem lip elements to it, primarily lit RPG, and it's got some things that are pretty common with most of, the, the, most of them, and then some things that are different and very interesting, and I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely loved it. So as always, I'm going to talk about four things. This book was fantastic, guys. Talk about four things. We're going to talk about the world, the character, plot, and the writing style. Oh, by the way, thank you to our patrons. Really appreciate you guys, and we'll be filming some exclusive content that will be going up the next week or so for you guys as a show of appreciation. So, um... Deep Winter, and like I said, I love this book, guys. I really, really, really did. So the world, the world is interesting because it's it's an isekai type book or a system type of book, uh, depending on how you look at it. They are transported from Earth to another world, so I guess that kind of has some isekai stuff to it. But it's also got some things very, very similar to to First to Fire, where the characters are kind of transported to to another uh, um, to as they're introduced to a system. And they're kind of taken somewhere. So it's not so much that the Earth was stitched together with other other planets, like in in say, the first fire or defines the fall. Um, so you know, isekai-ish and system introduced to a system type of thing. What is different about this one? What I like about this one is that that while it's a, it's groups of people and 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 uh, um, you know sometimes geographically close, but also geographically diverse. That, that are sent to this this particular portion of this world the uh, uh, in some instances it's very large groups of people so even though he is sent out there and he's alone when he first gets sent out there this has a few advantages that pop up for him to give him a lot, little bit extra money um, they they there actually ends up being almost like an American government showing up because there's a, I think, a battalion of marines. There's a platoon of seals. Now, none of them show up as characters in this, of course, but, but the, you know, a couple officers are seen as they're organizing things up, and they're, they're, they're. So basically, you know, even though we're in this almost medieval society, although with magic there, and the system and its abilities, it kind of puts them on an even playing field with these soldiers. So you know, they, we can't just go in and take over a town kind of thing. Um, it is interesting because you almost have within. Within about half the book, you almost have a, a, the beginnings of a government already in a support system and stuff like that. So it's it's different and it's interesting, and I, I and I really really liked it. And it added a, a a lot to the book. The main character's name is Tristan, and he is, like I said, he has a couple of advantages. One, he's a gamer. Um, two, he is transported with his house, so he's able to sell the house and gain an enormous amount of money. There was a couple others that pop up with similar. Um, Similar finances, I guess you could say, but uh, but for the most part, he's definitely one of the more well-off within the system, and he's able to utilize that to immediately raise his stats to basically the level cap that he has, and uh, purchase a lot of things. Plus, of course, all the stuff that he has in his house, and being a little bit of a survivalist and stuff like that, he has quite a bit weapons, food, stuff like that, and he's able to introduce those into the system. Um, plus, then he he makes so that he can then buy them from the system. And uh, one thing I like is the system shop is pretty much always there. So they can, anything that's been introduced in the system, they can buy on the spot. So you get attacked, you need a gun, you just buy one. Um, along with that, uh, he is kind of an outdoorsy sort of person and uh, generally a good guy. So uh, unlike a lot of, of uh, some of the other authors where the, the characters are kind of morally questionable, uh, Tristan's actually a pretty, pretty decent dude. Learns he, He's able to use his money to gain magic, stuff like that. So the plot the plot is kind of slice of life, because this world is also, has, it, it's interesting, because it has a very small, or a very out-of-whack male-female ratio, and it is heavily dictated by its, its weather, I suppose, so, and, and food production. Be, and they, but they explain it very, very well with, with this system and how the system requires 
how people end up eating more. Because they raise your stats up, you need more calories. So, uh, so there's always food shortages. And there's apparently a major winter coming. And typically when there's winters, the population declines. They end up cannibalizing each other. And, and you know those with the resources lock themselves away. Some try and hibernate if they have those magical abilities. Others end up eating each other. So, it, so Tristan ends up getting a group, a group of women, both from Earth and from the local area, and a large group of children, because he's kind of a sucker for kids, and is just trying to make it to the safe area so that he can begin his uh, uh, his plans, which is just to basically homestead. At first, it's it's to homestead, produce food, make sure everybody's taken care of, the children and the 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 women that he's brought along with him. He does have plans to eventually get stronger, going into some of these dungeons and towers and stuff like that. But originally, this portion of the book, this book especially, is just about you know, kind of slice of life. The initial shock, the initial survival, the introduction to the world, introduction to the system. And typically, those introduction books are pretty boring. Uh, this one is pretty darn good. And, and it's weird because while there is a section of the book that I absolutely could not stand, typically that's the beginning. This one kind of flips that around, and the very beginning of the book, the first three quarters of the book, is absolutely fantastic. It's very gripping, very interesting, a ton of fun, and I'm very much going to read book two. However, the writing style, not getting into that, like I said, very gripping book. Very gripping book, awesome plot, awesome characters, are really cool, very interesting. Um, I think some of the female characters, the, the, the local female characters, are a little bit too obsequious and a little bit too, uh, I don't know, a little, a little too over the top, but... My main problems with the book, two things. One, at first, the, the, there's a few editing errors in there. Not that big a deal. Usually I don't mind editing errors, uh, but straight-up misspellings absolutely kill me. And uh, it turned out that there was one that pops up a lot that is not, that, that turned out as just a misspelling. It's not an editing error. Um, the word rough. I think we all know it's R-O-U-G-H, not R-U-F-F. -F, but rough estimate, rough guess, roughing it out in the woods, roughly 10 miles. I mean, it's probably every few pages the word rough is popping up, and it's R-U-F, -F, even roughly is R-U-F-F-L-Y, and it was, it was honestly driving me nuts. And then the, the worst part of the book. The worst part of the book, to me, is the last quarter of the book. Last quarter of the book, because that entire quarter of the book is taken up with him building a house. And when I mean taken up with him building a house, I mean you have an entire page of I needed... X number, I, I, I had to buy X number of stone blocks from the system of X by X size so I could then fuse them together by this many square inches at a time using this much mana so it was going to take me this long to give me this many square feet of, of wall. That's like half, that, that's half to three quarters of a page describing that for one wall. We get that kind of description for one wall, the next wall digging the ground, the planks that were, go that, that were used for the, the, um, the floor, the square footing of the floor, the, the calculations for the square footing of the floor, and how many planks we were going to need, and how much he was going to have to fuse wood together with his magical abilities, the, how many planks he needed for the, for the roof and the angle that he had to pick, and that, I mean, his pages, e each section, you know, the, 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 the flooring was, was pages of, I bought, you know, 300 planks at x by x length that plus this many nails so that you know that that would give me this much uh floor square footage on the floor but i had to support it with this so i had to buy th these many these many um logs and then I, I i cut an eight inch by six inch section three inches deep into the wall into the stone so i and it, it was literally a quarter of a quarter of the book almost maybe 20 percent of the book building the house it was insane. I, I actually just sat there skip, on my Kindle just skipping. After after I tried to read the first 10 pages of it, I'm just just skipping, skim the page. Nope, skip, skim the page. Nope, skip, skim the page. Nope, skip, skim the page. To get the, And basically, the first three quarters of the book, awesome. First three, 75 to 80% of the book, awesome. Then I skipped it right to the end. So those are my two knocks. But again, fantastic book, and I'm absolutely going to read the next book. Hopefully he writes a sequel. So you guys should definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. And the house is built, so that's done. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye now.